Well, here you are again, back in the pits of YouTube. Welcome, everybody. So this video is about you. Well, I mean, kind of, but not really. You know what? I'm going to let that be up to you if this video is about you or not. I want to hear your experiences out there. This video is packed with amazing information. I have a full channel of videos packed with information, costing you nothing more than your time, which you know, I guess technically time is the most valuable thing you have. So, okay, fine. This, this is a very expensive video for you since you are spending time watching this, but you know, financially I will be easy on your pockets. You're welcome. Gone to the chapel and I'm um, gone to sell a bajillion, quadrillion, fashillion, badillion, manillion, Bill Gates, a billion, Warren Buffett, bajillion, a billion, million, trillion, thousands of dollars worth of merchandise I find in this particular thrift store. You know what I'm saying? Just a reminder, if you haven't kissed your puppy today, make sure it makes the world a better place. I found this little Playmate. It's only three bucks, but it was actually half off, so it was only $1.50. And uh, I was going to buy it. It's actually pretty small and, and light, and it sells on eBay. I couldn't, it was actually really dirty and scuffed up. I left it behind, but it sells for about 30 bucks with shipping. I, I almost bought it, but I left it behind. Then I find this vintage mug, this old Reynolds aluminum factory uh, or company mug, I should say. And I almost bought this too. And then I saw it was 6,050 cents, which was just crazy. But what I did find out is this, uh, this brand, some of this vintage Reynolds wrap stuff actually has some real value. 30 bucks for old Reynolds wrap, then this sign $700 plus. That's insane. So that's something new I can look out for. This GE alarm clock, these vintage alarm clocks actually still sell and they do okay. I can get like 20 to $25. I paid three bucks for this. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I titled a video, is it possible to become a thrift store millionaire? And I'm going to link that video right here, somewhere on the screen, around my face, above my head. And I've been thinking about the answer to that question for reals. Now, I know it's possible. I know a few people that are millionaires from being a reseller. But those millionaires also aren't selling stuff that they strictly find from just thrift stores. Auctions from liquidations, thrift stores, from garage sales, estate sales, from all sorts of sources. Today, I'm wondering if it is indeed possible to become a millionaire strictly from selling things that you find at thrift stores. No thrift store trip is complete without looking at the DVDs. I'm looking for obscure titles, anything new in the package. I found the, the kids DVD section. And I found a Barney DVD. Anything Barney is always worth looking up, uh, even in VHS. I found this and cool thing is it's sold out on Amazon, which I can kind of set my own price. That means I'm going to put it up for say 15 to $17 on Amazon. This other DVD, how do dinosaurs say good night? Uh, 50 cents. And the, the back was there is actually just folded in half. But if you're wondering this video, is full of questions. How do dinosaurs say goodnight? Uh, I'm going to make about eight bucks on this. It's only 50 cents. I'm guessing Barney says, well, goodnight, everybody. That's, that's pretty bad. I found this Blu-ray player on top, only five bucks, has a controller and the cords. Looked up the model number. I was actually pretty surprised. I wasn't sure if this actually still had uh, value, but uh, with the controller, it seems to sell anywhere from 30 to $50. You can get a premium. You will get a premium if you have the controller and wires. If you don't have that stuff, you can still sell it. It won't get as quite high of a price, but go for it. I certainly have my doubts. However, I think over enough years that it can become possible. And I'm not talking about gross sales of a million dollars. I'm talking about your net profits have been more than a million dollars. It's sustainably that high. Not when you hit the millionaire mark per se, although that is quite the feat in itself. Selling a million dollars worth of merchandise takes considerable amount of time and effort. I've been doing this for 12 years and I know this experience will be completely subjective person to person. And in the 12 years off the top of my head, I did look at this last year and the number was just about $700,000 in sales. That's not net profits. So after this last year, uh, I'm somewhere over 800, about 800 to $850,000 in gross sales over 12 years. Net sales, I'm not exactly sure what that number might be maybe 500,000, something like that. So if I keep at this rate, 
it's going to be another 10 to 12 years before I hit that net sale million dollar mark. That won't make me a millionaire, of course, because I won't have a million dollars in my bank. It will just mean I finally hit that net sales of sold a million dollars. And at that point, I'll be at close to, you know, 1.7 to $2 million in sales in order to hit that, that that million dollar net sales mark. Then I found another Blu-ray player. This one, uh, a Sony, it's selling for six bucks. Again, this has, it has all the cords, the RCA cables, the controller, which means it's gotta get a, a little bit of a premium. Look up the model number, and it looks like it sells for about 40 bucks. Uh, with the controllers, that is probably less without the controller, maybe 25 bucks. Not a huge score, but it puts me towards that millionaire mark that we're all talking about in today's video. Then I always search for the old, uh, like the old vintage stuff in, in the medicine and then the, the products uh, for El Baño. But I found this Bulgari, this fancy perfume, and it was only a buck. I uh, wanted to make sure it was was new in there, and it seems to be almost full, if not full. And it does sell for about 18 bucks, brand new. I'm going to put it up for 15. I'm not exactly sure if it's brand new or not, but I'm turning a dollar into 15. Uh, fun fact, yardsticks, some vintage yardsticks actually have money. If you find the right uh, name or brand or advertising, advertising on them, they can sell for good money. Or if you find a lot of them, you can lot them up and sell them for good money. This particular one is a Westcott. You can see here it sells for about 17 bucks with shipping. I left it behind because it was $2.50. I would have bought it. It was like 50 cents or so. Then I find this Olympic, United States Olympic. It's clean. Uh, that patch, anything Olympic clothing tends to get a little bit of a premium. It's only four bucks on the rack here. I think I can sell it for about 35 bucks or so. So I, I definitely took this home with me. Then I find another vintage cool thing that I wasn't sure if it had value. Five bucks for this VCR. Not all VCRs are created equal. This is a Panasonic Omnivision. Whenever you see that blue line, I always like to, to look these up and buy these if they're cheap enough. I found this one you can see here. Mine doesn't have a controller. If it had a controller, like I said, you can sell it for more of a premium, but I think I could still give uh, about $40 for it. But there's a whole slew of questions that pop up when I'm considering all. And I want to hear from you guys, your thoughts on all these questions and anything about being a becoming a seven figure seller slash net worth millionaire from being a reseller. Are you one? Where do you source it from? How long did it take you? What kind of stuff do you source? Maybe you don't even think it's possible. That's fine too. I want to hear your experiences out there. Vista $27 at the store today. Gross sales $232. That includes the shipping price plus the item price that I collected. Selling and shipping fees $105. That's the selling platform fees plus the shipping cost that I pay. Supplies about $3. Net profit for the day $97. I do set aside 15% of that net profit. I'm not a tax pro. It's just what I do. So that's about $15 that I set aside for the taxes in the following year. Hourly wage, we're looking at travel. It only took me about 10 minutes round trip. Shopping time, only about 20 minutes. Let's pack and ship this stuff. We're going to be all in about 75 minutes on all this, leaving an hourly wage of $77 an hour or 66 if you take out those taxes. Pretty good day. And I hope you learned something. I hope you have fun because I sure do making these videos. And I appreciate your time. The most valuable thing you have. Get out there to thrift stores. Make that million bucks. Show me the money. Show yourself the money.